Hello, so today we're going to talk about prompt 1-1, the Lyon hypothesis. So the Lyon hypothesis shows how the doubling of genes in females which are XX does not result in a massive number of alleles several generations down the road, while in males in which the chromosomes are XY, the number of genes stays the same. X inactivation works by using an imaginary factory that makes clay balls in two different colors. So when the source clay comes into the factory, it is not colored. This represents that the X chromosome that codes for the phenotype of that cell has not been chosen. One of the machines processes the large source material and cuts it into more balls. Then another machine cuts them into even more balls. This represents the division of cells into more cells. At some point, the uncolored balls go into a different machine, one that randomly selects balls to go into one conveyor belt or the other. The machine has half a chance of choosing one over the other. One conveyor belt spray paints the balls red with a green logo and the other green with a red logo. The choice machine represents the random choice of X chromosomes the cell chooses to have as its phenotype. The red balls are one phenotype and the, and the green the other. The logos represent the bar bodies, the condensed structure that the repressed X chromosomes turns into, because while they are imprinted on the ball, they do not affect the overall color of the ball. Then more machines divide divide the ball, still separated into more and more balls. Tortoise shell cats are, are always female because, of, because the color of fur is X-linked. Male cats, because they only have one X chromosome, are always either black or yellow-orange, while females could be black, yellow, orange, or both colors at the same time because they have two X chromosomes and they need not be the same allele. A yellow short-haired female crossing with a black heterozygous long-haired male gives a mix of phenotypes. For the hair length, big H, which is long, is dominant, and small H, which is short-haired, is recessive. If there's a dominant allele, the phenotype follows the dominant one. As you can see here, half the offspring, half the offspring have big H, small H combinations, which give long hair, and the other half of the offspring have double small H, which gives short hair because uh, the males only take the X chromosome from their mothers, they each get yellow-orange. The females, however, get both alleles, causing them to be multicolored. However, the colors aren't in exactly the same pattern because in the factory, the choice machine chooses randomly in each individual. And here, here's my citations. Thank you.